Western Province's Elite Diary done and going to be sticking the XP lamp in Herblore 800k and obviously 250 points for doing the diary. 99 farming coming in, I think it's going to be fairly easy for me to hit 25 million XP as well so I will keep chipping away at that for the extra 250 points. Hey there we go, my first Zenite Shard, one of four. I think I'm on about 130 KC so not going too dry on these at the moment. Um, yeah, I've got my crafting up to level 90 so far, so with a boost I could make um, both the Ring of Suffering and the Anguish, which will probably be the most useful ones for me anyway, um, but I'll need to get my hands on a couple of Onyxes. 25 million hit points XP for 250 points, very close to 99 melees as well now. And there we go, that is 99 attack, strength and defense for 750 points total, taking me up to 31,000 overall. Really nice point dump there. Onwards to the 25 mils, I guess. Hey, there we go, that is the Serpentine Visage. So that is the last item that I can get from Zora that will give me any points. Um, I'm gonna keep grinding it out. I would like to get the 250 and 500 kill milestones, and it'd be good to pick up a Onyx or two along the way if I can for my Zenites. That is quite strange, that's my second jar of swamp in 117 kills. I'm pretty sure that these aren't on the boosted drop table, so if I'm correct in saying that, that is insanely lucky, but it's a 1 in 3k drop anyway I think, so getting two of those even with the boosted drop rate would be um, yeah, pretty strange. Hey, there we go, that is the sub 25 minute fight K for 500 points. 23 minutes and 23 seconds on the dot. Uh, let's trade in this cape and see if I can get the pets. That would be very nice as well. Nope. I have been doing some Vorkath and managed to get enough bones for 80 prayer, which is 250 points for base 80 stats and another 250 points for 2100 total level as well, which is really nice. Time to spend some Tockel, I'm going to buy this Onyx which will give me 250 points. I'm going to go and quickly get two crafting levels, I've got all the stuff in the bank and then I'm going to be making my first piece of Zenite jewellery which is going to be the Anguish. So I do get the points for equipping the Zenite necklace, I don't actually have the magic level to enchant it yet. I'll need to get up to 90 and make like a magic essence potion or something but that won't take too long then I will have my Anguish. Another 99 coming in, Hunter for 250 points. And that is 250 Herbivores for another 250 points. Well, would you look at that? That is my second unique off a superior this league, the Miss Battle Staff. Um, I'm gonna try and do a few more clues now that they've um, released the update for it. I don't think I'll be going for all of the tasks, but just a few here and there would be kind of cool as I head towards 25 mil Slayer. Um, yeah, we'll see if I can get the imbued heart along the way. Another 99 coming in, that is Slayer. Certainly not going to have any trouble getting to 25 mil. I'm going to be doing the 15 fire cape task, which will be quite a lot of XP. And yeah, the clue tasks and rewards are enough motivation to continue on past that. So yeah, we'll be hitting 25 mil at some point, I'm sure. Used up all of my ores and bars in the bank to get 90 smithing, and that has enabled me to complete the RD Elite Diary, which is another 250 points. I can also go and do the Lumbridge Elite Diary and uh, yeah, get some more XP lamps. Well, that's nice, a Serpentine Visage on the 250th Zora kill for 250 points. Still no Onyx, sadly, but uh, hopefully we'll get one or two on the way to 500 kills. And there we go, that is the Lumbi Elite Diary done. So the only ones I've got left to complete is Karamja, which is 91 rune crafting. Varrock, uh, I've actually done the Elite Diary, I just can't do the hard one until I've got some more fossils for Kudos. And there's Kandarin, which I don't think I'm going to do, to be honest, because I can't really be bothered to do any Barbarian Assault this league. But uh, yeah, let's go and pick up these XP lamps. These two lamps give me 800k XP each, so 1.6 mil in total. I have been putting my lamps on Herblot up until now, but I think I'm actually going to stick these on rune crafting. 
Reason being that the only thing left for me to get in uh, Herb Law is basically the final potion that you can unlock, um, which is extended super antifires, which will make blowpipe for Cath really easy, but I can already make the regular ones. And I think with the botanist relic, this isn't gonna be too tricky. And I'm kind of keen to rush 91 runecraft reasonably soon so that I can finish the Karamja diary. Um, and that's less runecrafting, which is always good. And that is 91 runecrafting done. Let's go and do the Karamja elite diary. Easily done, that is another 250 points. Let's go and pick up the rewards. There's actually a few nice rewards from the Karamja Elite Diary that will help me with some of the tasks I've got left to do in the region. The gloves will be handy for getting back to Duradel very quickly when I'm boosting Slayer tasks. I think I get increased toggle from the Fight Caves, which will be handy, and a 10% chance to get double tickets from the Agility Arena, which will be quite cool. And I'm just gonna use this on Herblore, I think. Up to level 94 now. Another 99 coming in, that is crafting done and dusted. It's an interesting one, could potentially go for 25 mil if I get a lot of resources from Vorkath and Zorkano, but um, we shall see. Nice to knock this one out anyway. And that is the task for killing Vorkath 15 times without leaving. To be honest, pretty easy with the Draining Strikes Relic. Um, just felt a bit wasteful having to bury some of the superior bones. I should be able to pick up most of this loot and I just need to try and get the task for killing Vorkath five times without getting special damage. I just keep walking into the poison pools which is quite frustrating but I'll get there eventually. Hey there we go that is Zenite number two. I think I'm just over 200 kills now. Um, I'll probably turn this into a ring of suffering for Zora. I'll probably actually head back to Zora to try and get an onyx from there to be honest. Yes, there we go. Three out of four Zenites. I've also managed to pick up a monkey tail, so if I get the heavy frame, that will be another task done here as well. And there it is, the Zenite shard. So the only drop, as I said, that I need to get here would be the heavy frame. And otherwise, the only points that I can get beside that would just be the milestone task. Big point drop coming in, 750 in total for finishing up the 25 mils in attack, strength, and defense which is very welcome indeed. That puts me at 38,000 points total. And we are done with farming. This tree is gonna give me 25 million XP overall for another 250 points. That was actually um, quite easy. And this is gonna be the very last Sorrow Kill of the league, number 500. I have had five Tanzanite Fangs, four Magic Fangs, three Serpentine Visages, two Jars of Swamp, and absolutely no Onyxes, which would have been very useful for my Zenites, but the other drops have been really good, lots of supplies for other skills that are going to make the training a lot easier. So unless I get an onyx on this kill, I will have to buy the rest of them from the store. But there we go, 250 points, very nice. Another 250 points here for 25 million Hunter XP, also closing in on 500 Herbivores in total. Here we go, the very last Herbivore of the league, and that is 500 for 250 points. I've banked probably quite a lot of Herblot XP. I think I'm probably close to having 99 banked, which is really nice. And hopefully these fossils are gonna get me close to 153 kudos so that I can finish the Baroque Hard Diary and claim the elite reward as well. So equipping all of these should give me 500 points. And then I'll have to sell them back and hope that I have enough Toku with my remaining Chaos Runes to buy the four Onyxes that I want to get. Had to sell about 11,000 Death Runes, but I didn't realize I had so many of them to be honest, and I don't have too much use for those, so that's absolutely fine. Let's go and make my three remaining Zenites and the Fury. And there we go, more points coming in, 250 for making the Fury, and if I equip all of these, that is another 500 for all four Zenite jewelry pieces, taking me up to 40,600 overall. And another 99 coming in, that is Herblore done and dusted. I suppose with Botanist, I could look at going for 25 mil, but um, to be honest, I really can't be bothered, so I think I'll just stick at 99. That is the Fremenic Exiles quest complete. I can now kill Basilisk Knights. There's 50 points just for killing one of them, and then 250 for getting the jaw. So hopefully don't go too dry on that. There we go, that is the Basilisk Jaw, a little bit over the drop rate but not too much and that didn't take uh, too long to be honest with the range relic and using the safe spot so I'll go and turn this into the face guard now and that should be 250 points. Awesome.
First hand side coming in at only 10 KC. What can we get from this one? Oh, um, <laughs> that's not very useful actually. I don't think I can get any points from that, but 250 just from offering my first hand side, I guess. Second hand side coming in, what can we get from this one? Hey, nice, first bludgeon piece, one out of three. Getting quite lucky with these unsireds, what can we get from number three? Oh man, well, I think we're gonna be here a while for the kill count milestones anyway, so yeah. Unsired number four on kill count 64. Hey, very nice. There are 250 points for equipping that, so I was hoping to get one of those along the way. Quite enjoying this, I have to say. Unside number five. Ah. Getting all the crappy rewards that get me no points, but then equally I've had five in 87 kill counts, so I don't feel like I can actually complain. What can we get from number six? Ah, another dagger. Just wondering whether we might complete the bludgeon in under 100 KC, but that's looking unlikely now. And that is 100 kills for another 250 points. Been doing a bit of skilling and I've got 90 agility coming in, which is actually going to be base 90 stats across the board for another 250 points. Nice milestone coming in here, 92 mining and 2200 total level for another 250 points. Have to say the stat page is looking pretty spicy now. And that is another 99 coming in, fletching for 250 points. Ah, oh, finally, I <laughs> found this task so frustrating. I don't even know why, it's just felt so RNG dependent. Don't even think it was like a test of skill because I can wooks walk the machine gun phase perfectly fine, but it's just when the poison pools spawn, um, it's just completely random. There's no real way of knowing which way you need to go to avoid them. But yeah, there we go. 250 points. That was tough. 250 Vorkath kills coming in for 250 points. I think I probably will end up going for 500 um, because that is a task and there are some very nice drops to be had here. Back at DK's got a lot of points to get here with all the uniques. It would be another 850 points. So uh, kicking it off with a dragon axe. Very nice. I think I have to use the special and we got the seer coal. And there is the mud battle staff. Berserker ring. There is the seer's ring. Just the warrior ring left to go now. Hey, there we go. The warrior ring, the last one that I needed. And one under double the drop rate, which is very nice. So that's going to be 350 points, 100 for the ring itself. And then a further 250 for equipping every Dagnoth King ring. Um, the only other points to get here are for the kill milestone. So it's at 300 kills. I believe 650 and 1000 and that is so you have to have 300 of each Dagnoth King so Rex Prime and Supreme I don't even know if I'm going to come back to do that to be honest um, the only drop here that might be worth it is the bones basically for the prayer XP but I can get a lot of prayer XP from Vorkath um, so may not return getting these armor pieces was a little bit fiddly but it's uh, 300 points so probably worth doing and I've always thought the skeletal armor looks pretty cool. Very weird, but very cool. I finally got the kudos that I needed to be able to complete the hard diary, which means I'll have both the rewards from the hard and elite, because I'd already done the elite diary. Uh, wasn't too sure what I was going to use these lamps on, but to be honest, I think I'm just going to use them on magic. Uh, it's one mil XP, so that'd be a nice boost. Um, the other skills, I don't think I'm going to really struggle to get to 99. Uh, I was considering agility, but I need to do quite a lot of laps around the Apatol course anyway for the points. So yeah, there's 95 magic and another hard and elite diary completed. A hey, first unique from Zolcano and it is the shard for 250 points. That is really nice to see. The dragon bone necklace, I believe, is 250 points. Not too sure if I will try and get the Dragonfire Ward if I... Uh, don't get it before 500 KC. I am probably going for 500 KC for the bones for 99 prayer. But yeah, very happy with that. I have been AFKing very hard at the Rune Essence Mine and that is 99 mining for another 250 points. Next up is smithing. I've got all the bars, I just need to smith them. And that is smithing down for another 250 points. 
Oh yes, there we go. The Draconic Visage, the first time I've ever received one of these across any of the game modes. I'm um, pretty sure that is some points. Uh, if I got the Dragonfire Ward, I'd probably end up going for the one you can get from the Fossil Island Wyverns, because that's another 500 points to equip all of them. But that is really cool, very pleased with that. Hey, so that's 250 points for smithing the shield and 250 points for wearing it. Very nice. Time for another 99 and it is going to be magic, which will leave me with six skills left to max. I'm very close to getting 99 fire making as well, so that won't be too far away either. And here it is, 99 fire making. Very nice. And that is another one down, 99 prayer, 250 points, also hit 126 combat, which was another task for 250 points as well. Uh, okay then, um, another pet. I was just finishing up the 500 Vorkath KC task. That is very cool. No points because I've already had one of the boss pets, but uh, I will take that. And that is 500 Vorkaths done. There is one more task for getting 750 kills here, I believe, but not sure I'll come back for that. The main thing for me here was getting 99 prayer banked. Uh, just, yeah, if I have time, maybe I'll come back, but not planning on it. And of course I mess up the clip, but that is 99 thieving, 250 points, just three skills left to go until max now. And with that, I'm going to call it an episode, guys. To be honest, it's a longer episode than I anticipated, and it's taken me longer to get out than I would have liked. But I hope you have enjoyed watching regardless. Next episode, I'm going to be maxing and basically just attempting to put as many points on the board as possible before the league finishes on January the 6th. Um, potentially the last episode of the league. I might just make it into one final video. Um, I'm currently about 3,000 points into... The dragon rank which to be honest i wasn't expecting to be able to achieve this season or this league um, i'm gonna try and push on i think it'll probably end up being about 55,000 points for dragon rank at the end of the league so i'll see what i can do if you enjoyed this episode feel free to drop a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the latest videos on the channel feel free to subscribe as well and until next time guys take care